Can I lane split these people? I'm so tempted. Can I? Will I fit? Beep beep. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> what is this thing? This is pretty cool. <laughs> I'll race you. It's not actually that fast. <laughs> Having a nice day out. Beautiful sun. You guys from around here or visiting? You've chosen a good time for it. Wearing all black was a bad idea. Whew. Oh god, there we go. Bye! <laughs> having a nice chat with the locals. They're from Minnesota. Oh, there's a crosswalk right there. Right there. Hey guys, Daniel James here. And today, oh fuck, we're, we're squeezing through traffic. Oh, look at this guy. Look, he's blocked me. I'm going to go around this way. Whee -oo. Ducking in and out of the traffic. Anyway, uh, today is August 23rd. Oh, and we're going to take a little ride down this road called Wiltshire. She was having a chat. Now, I don't know if you guys can tell, but today we have a dual camera set up and a new exhaust pipe. I don't know if you can hear it. It's like, brum, 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 this car. I'm watching. Okay, we're good. Now, let's take a little look up here so we're just taking a different ride today i'll probably end up back down the beach just because i fucking love the beach anyway so what we're going to do today uh let's take a left down here and uh yeah so today we've got a few questions in again all the questions are coming in from uh twitter at h2 daniel if you want to request a uh you know want me to answer one of your questions in one of these things but today's question is about percussion so i apologize i can't remember exactly who sent the question in while i'm on the bike i would check twitter but i'm useless at that kind of shit so the question was what is the best kind of production now that is a tricky question to answer mostly because it depends again like what we were talking about with the brass depends what kind of music you write so if you write um, big epic stuff, it's going to be different to if you write, uh, you know, big epic stuff, it's going to be different to like if you're writing classical pieces, and even it's going to be different if you're writing film score, because whilst you may think that there's a lot of crossover, and to a degree there is, I mean, it's not rocket science really, I tried to go down the residential streets, god damn it, and it's even busier. Um, sorry, that was that, that was me focusing. Uh, so, I assume when most people ask this, because a lot of my followers tend to uh, enjoy the kind of music that I write, and you know, if, if my last album releases anything to go by, that is going to be the trailer-esque, uh, big, loud music, something like that. So, the best way to do this, and I'm an absolute perk whore, so the best way to answer this question is to just tell you what I use. So firstly we need to go into how you you know how one actually writes percussion. Oh I missed it. Uh, how one actually writes percussion. Now I tend to write percussion um, in, a, in a certain way where I'm going for power most of the time and a lot of the power and a lot of people misunderstand this is, is what they do is they tend to get all their drums and get them to do all the same things at the same time. Never do that. Because think of it, think of percussion like a piano. Uh, the lower down you are in the instrument, so you know, like the low notes on a piano, the closer you get them together, the, uh, the muddier it's gonna be. And that applies to percussion too. So if you've got loads of big boomy drums and they're all going da -da 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 whilst that may sound good with Hans Zimmer's uh, you know, big drum circle or whatever. That takes a lot of EQ in to get it to actually fit in a mix. 
So what you want to do instead is you want to you want to plan them out. Think about what you would do with a piano in this situation. You would have your really really bass notes play maybe just a bass line, which would be a very very sparse, you know, quarter notes plus uh, rhythm, and then you'd have your eighth notes, so your mid instruments playing something a little bit faster, you know, because you can get them closer together and still hear the defining features between them. And then up in the high, you know, you can get kind of like the low. If you have too many high bits going on at once, you end up with a lot of kind of uh, sploosh. Sp sploosh, is that a word? Oh God, I need to lift up my visor, it's so hot. Again, it's always hot here in LA. So yeah, you go high, it's too much sploosh. Go lady. I think we're good. There's just cars everywhere today. Oh, sorry, fella. Um, I didn't see him. He was just waiting there. You have to, you have to assert dominance on this road. If you stand there, you don't get anything. Um, so yeah, up in the high end, you get the splooshy. So when it comes to low end, I absolutely love with a passion the Hans Zimmer percussion. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put a picture of it off, but if I do, woo, there it is. Um, and the hands in the percussion is great. They have these instruments, so they have the low, uh, the low hits. And I always use, tend to use the low booms. That is my lowest, lowest instrument. So think of it again like the piano. It is my low, low, low note. That is the one that does not do much. If anything, it's accenting. That's all it's doing. It's not playing a, a particularly complex rhythm. It's usually doing the downbeat. And if you're lucky, you know, maybe just a little upbeat before you get back down to a downbeat. It's never really playing anything faster than a quarter note. And then moving up from there, we move into the mid-range. And like a piano, the mid-range is very, very easy to define. So you can have a lot going on here and it can be really fun. So you've seen my videos with Cerberus, Saga, uh, Damage by Heaviosity. Again, Hands in the Percussion, Junkie XL mixes, they slot right in there. Um, what else? What else do we use in there? Oh, there's all sorts. Jesus. Uh, what else do I use? Oh, yeah, the ADO Epic series. Anybody on the crosswalk? No, but this guy wants a piece of me. Um, yeah, the ADO Epic series. So the Epic Toms, Dole, Epic uh, Tyco. They all fit in that lovely little mid-range. Oh, okay. We made it. We made it. I have to go 15 here because there's kids. So I'm going to slow down because kids don't know the rules of the road. I've come, apparently I've come when school kicks out. I didn't even know the kids were at school. God damn it. I've, I always pick the worst time. Spumone, trattoria, pizzeria. Rock and juice. Love it, oh, that kid loves it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, and then you go up into the high range. And high range can be anything. I actually tend to use loops in the higher range because I tend to find that uh, when you get up into that high range, I mean, you can program them with, you know, like uh, boom bams, hi hats, but I tend to find up there, I want something more creative, you know, so I tend to use like uh, loops or I design loops, you know, in something like my project Alpha and Bravo, um, but of course I'm not shilling it because you guys know I make it anyway. And what I tend to do is, is up there, um, up there, there is so much room, sorry. Fucking South Park jumping into my head there, sliding into my DMs. Um, so yeah, up in the higher range, uh, I yeah, like I said, I use those kind of loops and things. And heavy offset are good for these kinds of things. Uh, ever since like the evolved days, that's that's going back a few years. Oh look, this is a big old building with boarded up. Oh, that's a shame. Um, but yeah, so that's what I tend to use for percussion. Now, if you're more of a classical person or you're doing more film score, you want to look at people like orchestral tools and Spitfires, uh, like normal. Uh, is this guy trying to cross? No. Uh, yeah, like the Spitfire and orchestral tools, like uh, organic kind of percussion. Or one of the Metropolis Arc ones, you know, they've got like some things. And then, of course, you've got uh, Cineperk by uh, Cine Samples. Also a great library to use. I actually use the Cineperk uh, I think it's just Cineperk Core for the cymbal swells because they do something that I love and I think was it Saga or was it um, was it Cerberus we're back at the beach by the way just because I really like this road because I get all the sea breeze so it's nice and cool on particularly hot days like today so don't judge me um, 
yeah and they have the cymbal rolls are on the mod wheel so you can create your own you know back in the day it used to be that they were they were baked in uh, you know and so you'd have to do that thing like we did with Forzo having a tempo synced uh, swell is actually pretty cool but the one one step up from that so right, if they're in order of how good they are the lowest one is when they're just pre-baked and you have to figure out where the swell ends don't like that one step up from that is tempo sync so you know where it ends but you have no control over it and then my favorite one when it comes to cymbal swells is being able to ride the mod wheel to create your own swell that is by far the best oh look at that cute dog um, I don't know if you guys noticed by the way that with this new camera we've got on today it's actually um, it's got some image stabilization so it's a good reason that I'm driving back down this road so you guys can actually see what it looks like without my head shifting around everywhere and of course we have the second cam here just so you can see my chin because you know I know you guys wanted to see my chin now I could lane split here but it's I realized from the last vlog that when I'm lane splitting it's hard to talk at the same time so the next question that came in was about harmony again can't remember for the life of me who who asked me but how do you come up with harmony so the way I, the question on twitter referenced that i mentioned that i learned harmony when i was at college and to a degree that's true what what i actually did at college is i was taught how to form chords on a piano um which is actually more important you know it's it's when you learn how they're structured that you actually understand uh, like and you can build any chord on demand that's when that's when you have uh, control over your harmony and what I tend to do is if I'm writing a melody because I'm a very melodic composer when I'm writing melody what I tend to do is I like to think which note is this melody gonna land on in what chord Just squeeze through that and so I, I think okay this melody is going up you know I'm going D E F the next logical note would be G so what notes what chords does G appear in well of course it appears in G it appears in C it appears in all these but what a lot of people don't think is it also appears in F sus2 or you know or it can it can be the seventh of a chord you know it doesn't have to be like the first third or fifth and that's how I tend to think of harmony I kind of splooge them why am I saying splooge so much today splooge let's say splooge splooge no okay right this this truck here is a little bit over but let's see if we can squeeze in Jesus oh that's tight oh it's tighter than me nan that's a disgusting thing to say oh good oh that's tight I'm in tight as a gnat's ass. that's what we used to say I'm all fogged up um all I can think about is Nat's asses. Now I can't even remember what I was talking about. So the, the next question was, uh, someone asked if they can still buy Exus albums. And I know a lot of you are wondering, what the fuck is an Exus album? So when I was a kid, ah, oh, look at this mug. When I was a kid, I, uh, I was in a, a little, rock band oh something's happened here and uh yeah it, it was called exus and we we had our moments you know we uh we toured not toured we did a couple of shows with a band called enter shikari who were at the time oh this is us twice oh twice tight tight squeeze uh who at the time were pretty big and uh yeah we were yeah one of those little rock bands that's kind of shockingly bad Look at that little dog there. Hey, cutie. I think the girl thinks I was talking to her. Um, so, will you ever get to buy one of those? No! Because I like to have a degree of... Uh, what's the word? I need to keep some sense of dignity. And that doesn't happen here. Oh, look, the dogs. The dog loves it. He don't give a fuck. Look at him. Where's he go? Traffic... What? Did the rules not apply to you? Do they only apply to me? God damn it. Usually I turn off here, but you know what? Let's just keep going. Let's keep it going. Now I need to be careful here because some some dude will probably pull out somewhere. So let's sneak in between. Let's scare some people. 
when they have their window open I'll give it a bit of revs see if they love it Woo! I'm good so this is this is uh, Santa Monica I know I showed you guys last time and uh, since since the last vlog I actually got this new GoPro here you can probably see it on the old GoPro which is down here uh, let's do let's do a U-turn I haven't done one of those in a while um, so you should be able to see it better that's why I'm doing the same route that I did last time because this is a beautiful place and I don't want this is actually my hometown too and I didn't want uh, my hometown to be missed you know by you guys uh, it's beauty is something to behold but yeah this new camera has image stabilization so you should actually be able to see where the fuck we're going this time as opposed to just oh look at his bike <laughs> <laughs> I gave him a thumbs up, he loves it. <laughs> I like to I like to um, rev for the little kids because they get all excited. So here's a fun thing about um, California. you have this right on red. Obviously when people aren't coming, you know. That would that would be silly. Don't you beep at me. I'm going. What, I'm doing what I feel like. So here we go. I can go after this one. Yep. I don't want to bad by the rules. So last time as well, I missed City Hall because I was too busy talking. <laughs> Luckily, there's not as much chaos going this time. Oh, speaking of which, there's a good segue. Kevin's no. So you see, I'm not supposed to cross these lines, but I'm a rebel. I'm a rebel. Jesus, she was chilling. <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> um, I was just sorry. I was just doing a little, uh, little show for the the man in the van next to me. Um, yeah, so chaos. There's not as much chaos going today. Speaking of which, one of the other questions was Project Chaos. And when is it coming? And I know I, I've been saying soon for like three years now. But soon, sooner than you think. So I don't want to jinx it. So don't hold me to this. But if things are carrying on the way that they've been going, we should have Project Chaos out in a matter of weeks not months weeks now I'll give you a little update on what I've been doing with it so I actually went to Harry Gregson Williams the famous composer I don't know why I'm doing it in a French accent he's English but I went around to his studio the other day and I, I actually showed him he was the first person to see uh, the working build of it since uh, you know since me and Aaron have, have been working on it and uh, and the comments were good. Uh, he had some suggestions which we're actually going to add on to it. Uh, there were some things, <laughs> I don't want to tell you what they are because it'll spoil it. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to add a few things that he, uh, he suggested into it. Things that are actually quite, quite doable. So we're going to do that. Look at the colour of this car. He's got purple rims. I want purple rims. Oh, look, she's parked right up on the line, so I'll, I'll, I'll sit behind her. Why not? Um, so we're going to add in those little features, and you know, then we need to do our little alpha, <laughs> our alpha test, not project alpha. Like an alpha test is in. We need to get it in the hands of uh, you know people who ride demos and things like that. Are you are you ladies crossing? Yeah, you are. Go on, go on, love. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, and finish up some, some content. But as soon as we've done that, oh, that's the sound that I believe. I'll let this lady go. Uh, but yeah, once we've got the, uh, once we've got it in the hands of some people. Now I went down Santa Monica last time, so I'm not gonna do that this time. I'll take you down another road. 
let's go down this way. Ah, shit, red light. That's good, it means I get to talk. Hey, look, there's a British store there, by the way. So the, uh, so yeah, we're gonna add those little features. We need to add a few more little uh, sound designs. So I can probably give you a little uh, sneak peek. People hear me talking to myself, so I'm gonna put my visor down. But the, uh, well, what was I saying? This, I'm, I'm, I'm too distracted by the peepers. Look at that dog, it's cute. He don't need no shirt. Um, so yeah, we're, we're, for those of you who are wondering what Project Chaos is, so, first little sneak peek. It will contain, it will contain all of the things that you would expect from a Project Series sample library. So there will still be whoosh, uh, Oh god, there's a the police again. They're fucking everywhere. I've got my new exhaust and I don't want them to stop me. Alright mate, there's a little bike. How's he going? Look, he gave me a little nod. Um, so it will contain all the usual sounds. Hey, there's another bike behind me. Um, so all your, your whoosh bangs and your, um, your rhythms and your drones and your little sound designs. They're all gonna be there. This guy's gonna pull out on me, watch. God damn it, lady. I knew it. And then she turns right, just to insult me. Um, so they'll all be there. Again, I'm trying to focus. It's so difficult when all the people are walking everywhere. I've just, coming out this late in the day was a bad idea. I'm gonna go to the actual beach. I'm gonna go stand on the beach and finish this because then it'll be quiet and all the kids will be gone because they're all crossing the road this guy's just doing his job yay <laughs> scared the shit out of him anyway so the uh all the th fact I'm, I'm, i will get through this fucking sentence so all the things you expect to be there are going to be there but that is not and I repeat, that is not what the library is about. We're putting it, that stuff there so that you guys uh, won't think you've, you know, think you're buying one thing and then you, you know, we s snatch the wool from under your eyes. That's not the phrase, but hello. Uh, yeah, that's not the actual phrase, but we don't want people feeling like we tricked them into buying something that they didn't want. So what we're actually going to do this is a loop by the way I'm, I'm gonna take you guys back to where we started this little trip and then this time we'll actually go to the beach um, have I got time on it yes I do uh, so you'll get all the things that you fucking know this sentence you'll get all the things you expect but the library's something there's something super special about it and it's funny because you know other there's other companies in the in the field who are trying certain things and I think they're probably uh, trying a few things to you know combat whatever we bring out but none of them have hit even remotely close to the mark so um, and I feel like this is going to be pretty special um, and it was funny like when I was uh, when I was showing it to Harry it wasn't until I mentioned something. I mean, like he was looking at it. He was like, yeah, yeah, like, like Alfred Bravo, you know, like, and he was kind of like, oh, this is, this is one of them. And then I showed him the special things. I showed him my special thing. If you know what I mean. Uh, no, not my penis. I showed him what the library is about and his eyes lit up. Or at least I, they, <laughs> they felt like they did to me. You'd have to ask him if they lit up, but his eyes lit up and then uh, he started seeing the possibilities of what he could do with it. And, uh, and he was he was excited by this prospect. So that is a good thing, I, at least I hope so. Um, so we've got, I'm feeling good about it guys, I'm feeling good. Over the next few vlogs, I will maybe start to introduce you to sections of it because it, as I said, it's, it's probably a case of weeks away rather than months away now. So I'm gonna start trickling out information about it, uh, but not enough that the competition We'll just take the idea straight away and you know and just beat us to the punch because we spent like a year mostly like it could have been done quicker probably but you know you know me uh i'm not i'm not slow but i uh you know i get busy quite a lot so and when i say busy you know like with films and games and all those kinds of fun little projects now i'm gonna get around this guy let's go let's go stand on the beach in my full gear and look like an absolute animal. 
hey there's more dogs I mean I'm a dog person but you know I don't have time for dogs right now there's too much going on hey, we're going down the California incline look at that beautiful sight it's one of the joys of, of living in Santa Monica look, look at this we're actually going to go try and sit down there but I need to pay attention because there's fucking sand everywhere on here I haven't been paying attention to you much hello hello down there right so the cool thing about this is we should be able to sneak past some of these fuckers so let's there's no one coming up and I don't see the police so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sorry sir you've you've completely blocked me but so we're just gonna nip past these people and piss them off oh god bump bump right you see this this is the joy of a motorcycle look at all these cars that I'm just zipping by go go I do not want to get stuck here again <laughs> I did this video look at that sign it looks like the arrow is bending that other one over so look at it I mean that's not just me right that is a suggestive sign right so we're gonna try and go to the beach go 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 Benegal right we actually want to be in this lane please notice me please notice me before you pull out he noticed me. Thank you. I, I lived. I, I lived to fight another day. Right. Let's try pulling into one of these things. Let's try this one. Is there space? Oh, there's, there's so many spaces. Whoa, we need to go all the way around here. So, um... We're going to be leaking out all the information. Look at this. Look, there's no one else here. And I still managed to run into the one guy reversing. Look at this, look at this slow movement control. Look. Feet aren't down. Going at half a mile an hour. I kind of I kind of just want to boom up on. But we won't do that. Let's just park it here. Do you think I can make it to the beach? Oh, God. Let's go scare some people by running at the beach. Is there people here giving tickets? No. Okay. There's so many things that I need to go back pocket. Oh. Just, 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 just give me the camera. Okay. Let's go. Let's try and make it. Hey, look. There's camera, 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 camera. So this is. Oh no. <laughs> Maybe if I jog. Oh god. Oh, this was too much effort. Ah, let's go. <laughs> Fuck me. I'm too old for this. I'm going to the sea. Oh, there's so much sand in my boot. Why is the sea so far away? Heavy breathing. Fuck it, we're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it, I'm gonna die. But there's the sea. So this is Santa Monica. This is where I live. Look at this. It's beautiful. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. Oh, I'm just gonna take a little sit down. Oh, oh my God. This was a bad idea. Oh. So, Project Chaos will be coming very, very soon. Uh, I just, the thing, the thing with it is, is, oh, I'm so tired. The thing with it is, is, it's so much fun to play with. So much fun to play with. That whilst I should, oh, for fuck's sake. Whilst I should, should be writing, uh, making sounds for it. And now I've got sound in my glove. Why well, should be making sound? Uh, this was a bad idea. Okay, look at my shadow. This is what I currently look like. <laughs> Thought I'd show you guys the beach. That man has built a one-man fort. Uh, uh, oh, Jesus. Lord have mercy. Oh. So whilst I should be making more sounds and presets for the thing, 
I can't stop playing with it. And that's a really good sign. There's a helicopter. It's a really good sign because if I get stuck playing with it, I think other people will too. And one of the things, the last little thing is you will be able to use this in so many different ways. You will be able to use this for your own sounds like we did with Alpha and Bravo. You are going to be able to create your own, your own little, not just your own patches, but you're going to be able to use your own waveforms. Uh, I shouldn't have run. This is why I have a bike. Oh God, look how small it is. Uh, so we're going to be leaking out some pictures and whew, doing some videos about how it works. <sighs> oh, thank fuck, I'm back. Uh, over the next few weeks. But do not leave me. Give me time. This is probably going to end up being a long vlog. Uh, <sighs> please tell me we were recording. We were. Oh God. Yes. So, the other question, because there's a lot of questions. The final question of the day was how do you avoid procrastinating? Now, running on the beach was probably a very extreme version of procrastination. I mean, like I say, Project Chaos is coming, but it's sort of, sort of in a weird way, relies on me doing work. Now, I consider these vlogs as an integral part of my, um, you know, part of my, my job. Like, I like to keep you guys informed. Um, they're fun for me to do. And not only that, <laughs> look at the sand. so much sand in my shoe this guy has like blocked blocked the exit like a shtum this guy's just gonna reverse into me isn't he I'll just I'll just keep going back shall I <laughs> I want to go over there that looks like more fun uh, um so how do you not procrastinate? So yeah, like I was saying, I I would say that like procrastination is okay. We all do it. But there are ways to make procrastination more useful than wasted time. Procrastination doesn't have to mean, uh, well, I mean, it doesn't mean that you can't do things other than your work. What it, that's Iron Man. It's fucking Iron Man. Um, so if you're gonna procrastinate, make sure that it's something that contributes to the larger goal. So if, for example, you uh, uh, you tend to watch movies or TV shows, or you play video games instead of writing music, that doesn't have to be not working. That could translate to you listening to the score and seeing how those things work. So the thing I do is I make sure that when I'm doing something that isn't writing music, it's contributing to music. So right now I'm riding around, which isn't listening to music, but what it is, is a way for me to communicate with you guys. And you guys determine what I create. Yeah, I am not even gonna go over those. They look like death traps. Get up to speed. Don't you do it. So, yeah, uh, this riding the bike is a way for me, there's a shoe, um, is a way for me to communicate with you guys, you know, because you guys ultimately are the people who uh, are interested in what I do. So you are very important to my work because what I do, I do it for you. Everything I do, I do it for you. Sorry, little imp. A little, uh, 
improvised Brian Adams there. Don't fucking do it. Oh, you, you douche nozzle. Well, thanks a lot, bro. Oh, look, look, he's, he's, can't make up his mind. I wonder if we can lane split up here. We're going the whole way up. We're going to the tap. They're trying to hold us down, but we're going to the tap. Now let's see if we can sneak in between these guys. I want to be down here. This guy is indicating right. But is he right? Look at look at this bike control. That's why the, the test is so focused. That's why the test for riding a bike is so focused on slow driving, because most people just slam into the side of cars. Look at that. He's got a corn dog. I want that corn dog. So yeah, I feel like procrastination isn't the worst thing in the world. Because it can serve a purpose. And that purpose can be learning while you're not well, it's working while you're not working. It, I mean, like, you look at what I do. I do YouTube, so, like I said, that's for you guys. I also do sample libraries, which is for you guys. And it's a way for me to uh, make an income when I'm not writing music. But at the same time, I also write music for the films and the games, which is also for you guys. And for the companies, of course. Oh, we've got 21 seconds. I've got 21 seconds to go. But if you're lagging him in, no, we've a huge... Look at that. Look at that. The poor guy having to ride those people around. They, like, ride me around, so... I do not feel like walking. I hear it, but I don't see it. Oh God, it's back there. It's behind us. Yoink. That guy's music. Okay, there's a fucking fire truck coming. But I don't know where to go! I just need to get out of the way as quick as possible. There he goes. Oh, he's taking my route. I could follow him, but I'm not going to. So there we go. There's a full loop of the beach. Um, so yeah, that last final word on procrastination is just do what you got to do. You know, don't let the man tie you down. You just do anything. But when you do it, make sure that you can siphon some bit of usefulness from it towards your goals uh, so I think what I'll probably do is end the vlog here today um, this is probably going to be quite a long one so thank you guys for watching what I would ask is uh, if you want to ask questions again make sure to do it on Twitter at h2daniel or wherever you see me po uh, posting the video blog whether that be VI control or even on this video itself you know what would you like to hear me talk about and where would you like to see me go we probably won't do this trip again this little circle we may sometime down the road but um, we're probably not going to do it again for a while because we've done it twice in a row now uh, and again the main reason being that uh, I did this trip last time on my old GoPro which didn't have image stabilization and it's kind of crappy as well so I thought I'd give you a good view. There's City Hall. Fuck, I missed it twice, didn't I? There it is. Look how beautiful it is. Um, so where would you like to see me go in Los Angeles? Um, we could probably try and take a trip down Hollywood, see the big sign. I could do downtown LA, but that's always a bit sketchy. I don't mind doing it, though. Maybe Malibu. Maybe we'll ride down the coast. Marina Del Rey. Uh, maybe we can go see the Cine Samples guys. They're in town. You know, there's, there's plenty of things we can do. And... Like I say, everything I do, I do it for you guys. So you just let me know what you want and I'll fucking do it. Okay, so 
Thank you everybody for watching today and I will see you all 